I, I recognise some. I've met a few people this morning, for, or this afternoon for the first time, and uh, it's lovely to see such a gathering of people here to celebrate what is ultimately one of the best things that can happen in the universe. A new person coming to grace us with their presence. And what fascinated me when I was asked to do something of a blessing today was, first of all, you know, why me? I'm, I'm just, you know, anybody just like you, nothing, nobody special. But I've had a connection with Lee. I used to be Lee's tutor at Timmouth Community College a long time ago, almost 20 years ago, isn't it? Yeah, no, it is. And, uh, you know, at that time, I met a young man who made a great impression on me. A really good, powerful, some, somebody who was actually able to kind of take on board lots of different things, lots of different challenges, and make the most of those different things and different challenges. And Lee and I kind of connected. So I feel like I know Lee very well. And Danielle, of course, I knew Danielle when she was a little girl and knew her as this kind of powerhouse of energy. Um, slightly unpredictable energy at times, must, must be said. And so I know these two people as young people, and now I see them as young parents. Um, people who I respect because I knew you from a very young age and you were always, in my view, good, you know, nourishing people to be with. And I'm very happy today to be asked to make a couple of uh, words uh, about, about today. Melanie, Melania, what is it going to be? You know, we've got to decide now. Melania. Because Melania. <laughs> and it's not Mel, Melania. by the way. <laughs> so, I will say Melanie because I'm a bit old-fashioned. Mm. Melanie June, what a beautiful name. And I, I like the idea that June has a kind of resonance outside of just being the month when Melanie was born, but also Nana Dimples, <laughs> Nana Dimples. And we will go in a moment to talk about the significance of naming a child, because it's really important. I think it is one thing, it's inspired by the moment, it's actually a unique thing, but it also resonates to the past and to connections like June being your middle name, and June also being the month where Melanie was born. And it's Lee's birthday as well in June. Lee's birthday. <laughs> and so, another thing that struck me when I was thinking about what am I going to say today, I thought, well, isn't it incredible just how incredible life is? You know, it's such an extraordinary collection of coincidences that you would not necessarily kind of be able to plan if you had the biggest computer in the world ever designed, Zach, yeah? If you designed the biggest computer in the world ever and try to design a, a child, you couldn't do it. Because it involves a kind of magic, it involves something that is, you know, a little bit like 2019 happens to be 50 years since 1969 when we, humanity, put people on the moon for the first time. And something that came out of that lunar landing was a picture of the Earth. It was called Earth Rising. Have you ever seen that picture? Yeah. And from my point of view, it kind of made a big impression on me because, and the astronauts and all of us, if we think about how unique life is in the universe. You know, there is one planet as yet that we know of that has life. And on that planet, amazing things happen to create life, and life is amazing and beautiful. And so it was quite in incredible in a way because when I asked Danielle to give me some idea of what, what brought this life about, um, she said, well, it's weird because we were living in, in sight of each other and didn't really know each other. Lee and Danielle didn't really know of each other's existence. Uh, for many years, even though they lived very close to each other in, in Shoulder and in Locale. Uh, there's a story about Lee walking down the street and giving a karate chop to, uh, to John Smith's advert, yeah? 
and it happened to be in your, in your you, you pick up the head of the karate, put, put the head in the window of your, of your flattened shoulder. Yeah. And Danielle was. It wasn't a plastic, it was a nightclub. <laughs> right, okay, was it? It was a nightclub. No, it was a shoulder, the unofficial shoulder nightclub. <laughs> and uh, Danielle would walk by and see this floating head. And it was interesting, at that moment, you know, there was a connection. A little bit like the improbability of life itself. A little moment when a connection had happened. And Danielle talks off uh, as well about. The, the idea that somewhere we were at board masters and festivals and Lee was at the f same festivals and yet they didn't meet each other. And so it was like this improbability of connectivity would happen, but it was almost fated that somewhere along the line they would meet. And so going back to the names, now I'm just going to refer to some of my notes because there are a couple of people that um, I, I don't know personally, but I know people who are um, connected uh, to, to, to some of your, your best friends. Mm. Um, and I see that, you know, what, what I like about th this ceremony today, although it's non-religious and it's, it's actually a lay ceremony where somebody like me, a lay man, just comes up and talks to you and, and makes a little connection, um, we do want something more meaningful and I think the Buddhist references here and the idea of light shining that we kind of want to mark this as having some deeper significance because of the impossibility and the the the, 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 the fact is that somewhere along the line it could have been fate that has brought it, this community together and there was one moment Danielle just to to recap when you said that, you know, you were, when you were much younger, a little girl, and your mum and dad at the time uh, took you to, to Whittacoon, and, you know, you had a favourite tree that you climbed, and that you, 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 were, you were, at that time, needing a little bit of nature, and I'm a great believer in many of our these deeper desires to understand ourselves can be answered in nature. And uh, you, you climbed this tree, and a little later, when you met Lee and you wanted to go on a camping trip, you, you decided to go to this same spot and the same tree. And you climbed it, and you found the Buddha, yeah. a little figurine in that tree with, with your, your soul's partner, Lee. And so, somewhere along the line, Buddha and Buddhist ideas have come into your life. And I think that's a lovely thing. Because Buddha was not saying there's a God. Buddha said, look, this is a philosophy on life. And ultimately, what you do in life will be reflected in what happens to you. We kind of melt it down to karma. But I think there's a really important lesson in that. And Melanie, my darling, I'm going to talk to you now because you're the you're the focus of this. You know, your name has been given to you because you know there was a friend of your father um, who was very dear to your father and somebody whom you want to be recognised in in Melanie's life in in that sense. Um, now. Slim Slady. Slim Slady. The real Slim Slady. The real Slim Slady. <laughs> now, as far as, you know, giving Melanie a name like Melanie, apparently it was going to be his name, wasn't it? Yes, yes if he was a girl. Yeah. If he was a girl. If he was a girl, I'm going to add a well so, taken the Mickey out of him if I knew that. We, we, are, we are here in some ways to recognise that that we are saying that Melanie, in that way in which sometimes life is taken and sometimes it's given, and karmically it's taken and it's given, it's a, it's a constant cycle of give and take and give and take. And so Melanie, my darling, you've been given a name and we know, because your mummy has told me, that it took 28 minutes for you to be delivered 
28 minutes from you to go inside, from inside your mother to this outside world. And your delicate skin and everything about you, soft. Everything out here is hard and, you know, potentially hostile, but you couldn't wait to come out. <laughs> you could not wait to take your first breath. Little Mr. Turbination. You couldn't wait to start even trying to walk very early on. She's apparently even tried to stand up a few times, being a few months old. And so the life force in you is powerful. And you're a clever, happy, beautiful girl. And uh, we are very graced by your presence. One thing that your mum wrote when she asked me to, to do this, she said, you filled your lungs. When you, when you came into the world 28 minutes after you know, your mum was ready to deliver you. The first thing when you entered this outside world, you filled your lungs with air. And I think air is a lovely thing because it's totally insubstantial. There's nothing. It's around us right now. But it somehow, in a way, kind of symbolises the beauty of little, tiny things like air molecules, air itself, something that's unseen is the thing that sustains us and makes us live and gives us life. So, you're a beautiful baby, I can see that. I have a, uh, an eye that I can see. You've even got more hair than me, <laughs> which a li little bit annoys me. But you're, you're in amongst people who will be your community, Melanie. And they, I hope here, all of us here, will help Melanie in her life, in this future, in, and help you, Lee, and help you, Danielle. That we stand here as a gathering of a, a witness, that we all stand here and say, we're going to be there for you, because life is tough. And I will be there for you. So Melanie, sweetheart, you are an improbable collection of coincidences. Probably impossible to imagine even in a computer that this young man might build one day. <laughs> <laughs> and so I would like now, finally, to bring our, our spiritual mothers as we offer final blessing so Auntie Kit Kat <laughs> Come on. Auntie Kit Kat um, <laughs> Tracy <laughs> Mummy 2 Karen <laughs> Yeah mum <laughs> um, Melanie you are surrounded by people who love you cherish you already and we don't really know that much about you yet. I feel strongly you're going to be an amazing person. I feel strongly that with the love we have for you, and already you're giving us so much back that life will always offer challenges which you will overcome and make the most of and make the best of. In your life's journey, I hope always that you deep down listen to your heart because that's where compassion is. And in order to understand how the world works, you must always try to understand how people work. And you can't understand people unless you have compassion for them. I hope you will use that clever mind you have that your mum has already seen and see things for what they are, facts reason, use reason to understand things. And Melanie, I hope and I know, because you came with such eagerness for life, that you will be brave, that you will not fear, that you will trust, and you can have trust given back to you.
in the rich tapestry which is life. I wish you a good one, my darling. I wish you a fulfilling one. And I wish you, Lee and Danielle, a beautiful time with Melanie. And mothers, help them. Thank you. Thank you.